Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Now some of you may be wondering why is she covering this story? Why is she talking about this? The story is that Mexico's Pueblo governor Martha Erica Alonso dies in a helicopter crash. Okay, And the reason why I decided to talk about this is because many times when we look at those that are higher up, we look at those in government, we look at presidents and governors in this case, and we look at politicians and we look at celebrities and we look at all these people and we never equate them to or with death. When we talk about or we see death as always someone um, of a lower class or someone who the world would not see as important. But when we see uh, people in high positions such as this woman, she was the governor of um, Pueblo. And we see these people and we never imagine that something such as death or something as tragic as a helicopter crash can get them. Most of us don't think that. We don't think that way. We think of tragedy only as it relates to um, those that are unknown. Okay? And so what I wanted to talk about in this video is the fact that death is one of those things that no one, want, no one can escape. Okay? Death doesn't care what your color is. It doesn't care what your um, political ranking is. It doesn't care what your address is. It doesn't care how much money you have, what you look like. Okay? It doesn't matter if you um, have plans tomorrow. And that's the frightening thing about death. Okay? It crosses racial and color lines, poverty lines, wealth. You could be the wealthiest person on the planet, the most important person on the planet. And death can visit you. Okay? And so when we see these things happening, <clears throat> we never equate uh, someone like presidents with that, especially a sitting president, you see. And so I guess for me, I think we should all humble ourselves and be fully aware that tomorrow is not promised. You see, uh, we, we talk about so many things that happen in this world and we assume that uh, someone is going to be here next week. Um, I think about like even our president. Most people look at him and all the shenanigans that are happening in the world, um, all the things that he's doing in the White House and um, all of the people that are coming against him. Uh, they're looking at all of the, the legal trouble that he's in. But with all of that, we, we lose or we miss one thing that he still has to answer to a higher power too. And that the very breath he breathe, breathes is not even his. You see, it's not even his. As you see, this person was a governor. This woman, she was a governor. And death didn't take that into account. When you look at death as a spirit, that's what it is, okay? The spirit of death. Some people call it the angel of death, right? When death decided to visit this woman and those who went down with her, they didn't say, or death didn't say, well, hmm, according to this, she is the governor of Pueblo. And so she's too important to take out of here. Death didn't do that. Death visited her. It was her time, okay? And it was the time of many others that were on the plane or on the helicopter with her. And so when we look at people who the world deems as important, we have to remember that they too have that appointment, okay? We know that it's once appointed unto man to die, then after that the judgment. We know that everyone has that appointment. You see, and if we understood that that, that appointment is a time that you know not of, we would all be a lot more humble than what we are, you see. But we are not seeing that there is a lot of pride and a lot of hypocrisy in this world. Um, there is a lot of arrogancy. And there is, to me, in my opinion, there is not enough value for life as it relates to other people. When you see uh, someone who can so easily take away another person's life and they live on, the value of life has been taking, taken away. And so <clears throat> I just wanted to talk about this so you can see that uh, the word death or die and governor can go in the same sentence. It can go in the same sentence with president as well. You see, um, if that if you can put the word death or die in the same uh, sentence as um, a black person or um, a poor person, a homeless person, it can certainly 
go into the same sentence with someone who the world considers to be important as well, you see. Uh, that is just my two cents on it, on this. Um, death is one of those very touchy, scary, frightening subjects because there is a separation from life taking place, right? And many times you have those that are left behind to uh, grieve that person who has passed on. And so that very uncomfortable topic of death sometimes needs to be discussed. Whether we want to hear about it or talk about it, it is there. Okay, family? I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.